Friends, here our concept is conditional statements. See, these are same as your bash conditional statements. We know that in bash shell scripting, we have three types of conditional statements. They are simple if, if else, and if else if else if conditional statements. So here also we have. Let me go with the very first one, that is simple if condition, and this is the syntax in your bash shell scripting. Now in terms of jq command for your if condition there is no direct syntax for your if condition with a key called if instead of that we can use this syntax which is very very important so simply select a function pipeline your required message or logic see if you go with if here if this condition is true then this message will be displayed same way if this condition is true then this will be executed and this is same syntax you can also rewrite not only that any syntax which is there in these quotations you can write in multiple lines but it's better to write in conditional statements in whenever if you are using your conditional statement in your bash shell scripting see in this way jq your arguments then start and end with single quotation then inside that just write your all these statements as multi lines that's it now let me go with if else condition this is your bash if else condition same thing you can achieve using your jq command with if else condition very similar so accept these arguments we are providing input with the help of arg option then if condition then this is the then then your message else else your message then end so here we are using a file so here we are using end that's it now same thing this entire syntax you can rewrite in this way so here i am not going to explain with example because you already know if conditions just by seeing this you just practice it you will come to know then this is finally if else if else if condition this entire thing you can write in one line but instead of that in shell scripting of course you can write in multi lines this jq command expression see that if condition if this is true you will get this value else if likewise that's it so let me go with at least one example suppose i am taking validate input dot sh now let me write shebang line first then jq command hyphen n see be clear hyphen n is nothing but you are not going to provide your input as a file or as a json data instead of that you are reading variables that's why you have to use hyphen n option then hyphen hyphen or let's say input i am taking from command line dollar one then your expression here now that in terms of if else if else if condition so simply if your input anyway that is not a number because of this arg option so whatever the number you are going to provide from command line that will be treated as a string by using this arg option that's why i am converting that into number then i am comparing with let's say 1 then i am writing your input is 1 else if let me copy paste this simply 2 then your input is 2 likewise you can write any number of else ifs here else simply i am writing you are new for me something message then finally you have to end that's it save it provide the execution permissions then I am running our shell script just by passing let's say number 5 you are new for me 1 see in the output you are getting double quotations because by default jq command will give your output as a string if you want to remove that quotations then you have an option with your jq that is with or option you can apply it now see the result that's it okay thank you